In this video, we'll explore the differences between basic 2D pick and place applications supported by Robotique and more complex examples supported by Visual Robotics. Simple 2D pick and place can address basic use cases, but supporting moving objects in 3D opens up a host of applications that aren't well addressed today. To highlight these differences, we'll show examples using a Robotique 2D wrist camera and a Visual Robotics VIM-201 vision system, both mounted on UR3s from Universal Robots. Robotique has produced this wrist camera for vision-guided pick-and-place applications since 2016. We acquired one earlier this year and installed it on a UR3 robot in order to put it through its paces. Visual Robotics is currently in beta with its all-new VIM-201 3D Vision Guidance System. It supports 3D location of objects and also tracks and picks moving objects in both 2D and 3D. The VIM-201 is capable of much faster pick-and-play speeds than the Robotique. While Robotique certainly deserves credit for pioneering the use of an arm-mounted camera to locate objects of interest, we found it to be pretty fussy when it comes to recognizing objects against a variety of backgrounds. For example, when we put a simple jello box on a stationary conveyor belt, it took quite a bit of work to train it to recognize the box as distinct from the textured background of the belt. This was a new experience for us, since the VIM-201 doesn't struggle with that. As you can see here, until we got it dialed in enough, the texture would confuse the camera and it would attempt to pick a box that wasn't even there. We also found the calibration process took quite a long time, certainly more than five minutes, and it was quite restrictive, especially on a short-armed robot like the UR3. With hand-holding, we got the camera to achieve reasonable pick-and-play speeds, though the cycle times are not very fast. The VIM-201 has substantial advantages in all these areas. We won't take time to show them all, but you can see here that our 3D calibration takes less than five seconds. Let's take a look at some real examples. Our first example is a simple pick of a jello box off a stationary surface. After a fair amount of system tuning, the Robotique camera was able to do an acceptable job of picking jello boxes off the stationary conveyor surface. When we weren't filming, we did get one run where the cycle time came down to about four seconds. Not bad at all, but we couldn't get that very consistently. Still, this 2D approach is a reasonable solution for simple pick-and-place operations that are not demanding in terms of speed or visual complexity. On the other hand, the Visual Robotics VIM-201 enables you to select a pick zone, and as long as the box is located somewhere within that pick zone, the camera sees it and does so very quickly. Our cycle time in this example is about four seconds, and in a later clip you'll see it under three seconds. And that is essentially the same as the UR3 performing the same pick and place blind. The VIM-201 could go much faster, but the robot maxes out at one meter per second, limiting the cycle speed. We estimate that on a four meter per second robot, cycle times would be below one second. For our second example, we'll attempt to pick the same jello boxes off of a moving conveyor. The Robotique 2D camera simply does not handle moving objects. It takes some time for it to recognize an object even when it is stationary, so by the time the camera even noticed a jello box passing through its field of view, the object was gone before the robot could move. In some cases, it would start to move toward the spot where it saw the box, and then it would stop because the box was no longer there. We then stopped the conveyor and placed a box well within its field of view, and it was able to pick it. It simply doesn't tolerate motion. As long as the box was stationary throughout the cycle, it was okay. So then we tried sliding a box into its field of view while it was watching, and it was completely confused again. Now let's look at Visual Robotics. Visual Robotics patent-pending vision and motion technology enables the vision system to track moving objects and dynamically serve the robot to intercept them even if their course changes. 
This means our VIM-201 system can pick boxes from a conveyor without any synchronization, without any special placement of the boxes on the conveyor, and without even knowing the conveyor's speed in advance. In fact, Vision in Motion can calculate the conveyor's speed in an instant just by observing boxes coming down the belt. You could literally mount a robot on a mobile platform, wheel the robot up to a conveyor, and with less than 60 seconds of setup, the robot could start picking moving objects. It's worth noting that the VIN 201 cycle time picking moving boxes is still under 3 seconds on a UR3, and even that is limited by the robot. For our last example, we'll pick boxes from stacks of varying heights. A 2D vision system like Robotique's has no awareness of Z-axis height. If we train the Robotique camera to recognize the Jello box, we are inherently training it to look for that box at an assumed Z height. It has no ability to visually distinguish the top box of a stack from a single box. This means that if we train it to pick up a single box and instead present it with a stack of two boxes, it will see the Jello but crash through the top box in an effort to pick up the bottom one. Here's a close-up view. It crashes through the top box and then properly picks up the bottom one. On the other hand, Visual Robotics VIM-201 is a true 3D vision guidance system, so it's capable of distinguishing the height or size of items it is expected to pick. It can identify the top box from a stack of boxes and pick it, and then identify the next one in the stack, pick it, and so on. In fact, since it can measure the size of objects while moving, it can distinguish between boxes of different sizes and sort accordingly. In this example, it is doing so with wooden blocks and jello boxes, picking the top one off the stack and sorting them into stacks on the other side of the work area. You can see how operating in three dimensions at fast speeds opens up countless new applications for robotic automation. And you can also see how the unprecedented capabilities of our vision and motion technology permit the tracking and measurement of moving objects without expensive instrumentation. Visual Robotics is making it possible to automate thousands of applications that were not practical to do previously. Whether you're an end user, systems integrator, or a distributor, we invite you to visit our website or give us a call to learn more. As always, thanks for taking time to watch this video. Thank you.